Okay guys, so um, I'm going to talk about blushing the feet and the hands. I have a unique alternative method for doing that. I never seen any other artist that's done it this way. But I got sick and tired of gunky creases that I had to clean out before baking. Um, and so I had to come up with something different. And uh, I think I got it. Um, let me show you. I'll just shut up and we'll just watch. The entire foot. And the ankle. We're going to be using this napkin a lot. Okay, now, now we're going to take, we'll use this brush, and we're going to dab, 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 blot, 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 until all of those creases are cleaned out. So like this. Oh, by the way, I also um, really thin the paint just like we do when we're doing a wash. This is a lot of work and time consuming. The only thing with this technique is it is drippy, but that's okay. You got a napkin, wipe it off. See so far? It's blushing that foot really nice. No gunk in the creases. We've still got some more blotting to do, though. This thin paint, it gets inside the creases, but very subtly. And you do have to do this a couple of times. Some people uh, or some artists uh, go in a, like a C shape around the foot. I don't. And the reason why I don't, I do the entire foot, is because I personally don't see newborn babies with that feature. I see adults with that feature, older children with that feature, because when they walk, these are the areas that get callous. Okay, and the arch does not, so it's a different color. But on newborn babies, I have studied a lot of newborn babies. Pictures, things like that. My own children, my grandchildren, and I don't see that pattern. Now, I do see 
um, like a bluish cast to their feet and that's why we did um, on our blue shading layer we did paint the entire hands and feet blue which is also something different I've you know I've just sort of figured that out on my own um, anyway Now we may have to do repeated layers of this, but that's okay. It's worth it. You know, in my mind, whenever I'm reborning a kit, I always think to myself, what would I do if I was painting this as a prototype? And that's how I learned to do my best work. If I wouldn't present this as a prototype, then I'm not satisfied with it. And so that's what I tell myself. I strongly recommend thinking that way. Okay, so here's the bottoms of that foot, or the bottom of the foot. You see it? It's blushing. Those creases are also getting paint, but no gunk. And I'll show it to you after it dries and there still won't be any gunk in there. Nothing to clean out. And if there is, if I did miss a little spot, I simply use one of these skinny little toothpicks. I think I got I think I got them from um, McPherson's. All right. Especially the nail beds. You do not want gunky nail beds because when you do your nails, that's going to look ugly. All right, let's do another one. Stir the paint. Paint the entire foot. The toes, the nails, everything. All of it. Oop. And it runs. It's just, that's just the way it is. Just have a napkin handy. Let me get a clean one. All right, we've got a clean one for that. Okay. Continue to paint. I probably should bring out my brush a little more. I really, I really suggest this technique. I love the end results of it. I get better results from doing it this way. Now, so you're asking, certain areas of this foot are gonna be darker than others. It's not all gonna be one color. And the way we're going to achieve that is once we get the overall blushing done, the heel tends to be a little darker. Certain areas seem to be a little darker. And those are the areas that after like three layers of this, we'll get just that heel area. And that way the heel will be darker than the rest of it. It. The running is just one of those things, but it's been bait. So none of the paint underneath is going to come off from uh, wiping it with a napkin. Dripping is just part of this technique that you got to deal with. Can't do it any other way because the paint is so thin. But that's okay. I'd rather have thin paint.
and have it drip on me. I can live with the dripping, but I cannot live with gunky creases and gunky nail beds. That's unacceptable to me. All right. All right, now we'll take this brush. We're gonna do a lot of blotting and pouncing. Do, 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 do. See, just like that. I could blot the foot too as I go. All right. See, if you were to try to go inside all of these little tiny wrinkles and creases, the foot, it's not going to look natural at all. It's just going to gunk them up. This prevents that. You're still getting inside of them, but much more effectively, in my opinion. I strongly recommend at least trying this technique. I really love it. When I first started, I um, began watching YouTube videos of reborning and I learned so much from watching other artists, but there were some things that I sort of had to figure out on my own or think of another way to do something because I wasn't getting the results that I wanted. And this is one of those techniques that I discovered on my own. There might be artists out there doing this, but I haven't seen any. Okay. 